Hi, I'm Daniel Mettler from Tusic Internet Solutions, and we just created this really awesome concept called the app for DNN. And I would like to show you how this works because we're going to create an app together in 10 minutes, which has all these really neat features and can be installed on any other system within minutes. And we'll just do this all in just 10 minutes. So let's look what we're going to actually be doing. We're going to create a very simple app with a parent-child relationship. We're going to make it multilingual. We're going to make it configurable. We're going to implement some Ajax and some SEO. And we're going to create an installation package that you can distribute this again. And again, 10 minutes. What you'll be needing is a DNN 7.2, so just a new current version, and a new 2 sexy content installation version 6.0 upwards. So what are we actually going to be doing? We're going to first create an app. We're going to configure the data in it. Then we're going to create the views. We're going to link them so that we have a list and the details, which will open in a light box, but still offer a direct link for Google. Then we're going to enhance it with some multi-language um, placeholders, make it configurable. And yeah, that's about it. Then we'll export it and publish it. And we're really going to really try really hard to get this to work within 10 minutes. So I'm actually going to start my stopwatch here. So let's just go to our browser. This is a system without the app yet. We haven't done anything yet. And we're going to start now. So let's go ahead and add a Too Sexy Content module with the app. And of course, this app does not exist yet. So we're just going to go into the app management and create a new one. Create app. And we're going to call this um, Simple Parent Child with Two Pages. Why two pages? Because we're going <coughs> to have a list page and a details page. So that done. We could add some more configuration, but we don't need to. So just give it a second to reload the cache. So that's done. Let's go ahead and manage this app. We're first of all going to create a content type um, for questions. So we're going to just create this quickly. We're going to, of course, add some fields like the question. We're going to create a field like um, an answer. And just for the heck of it, to make things a bit more complicated, we're also going to add an image. Just because, let's say, the author or somebody could be um, into this. So we're going to add an image. Um, let's just do this as well as we can within this short time we have. We're going to make a WYSIWYG for the answer. We will also um, say that the image itself should be a file picker. And um, just let me check. I think I have some demo files lying around in the system in a folder called Content Apps Data. You'll see they'll be exported along with, this, with, with the app. So that's really cool that this works as well. So we've done this now. Now we're going to create a template. We're going to create a new one. And we'll call this the list template. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to make a token template out of this. Create a new one. This will be the list. Um, mm -hmm, that's all we need to know. This is a question and answer, and of course, this will be list enabled. So that should create our list template. And in addition to that, of course, we will create a details template. Um, we'll skip this for right now. We'll do this in a moment once we're ready. So let's. This is the app we just created. There is only one view. So this is special about apps. There's no option for it. So there's, there's just one view. And let's create some data and say, question, why does this work? Because it's just awesome. Let's also specify a picture. And assuming this loads properly, um, sometimes, OK, let's just say, OK, Benjamin is the author of this question. You saw, by the way, it already Pick the right folder and everything. This is really awesome. So let's save this. Now, what you'll notice now, of course, is that um, there is no template in here. I mean, that's normal. We just created a brand new template. So let's edit it. Now, of course, very often you would use Visual Studio for this, but you don't have to. Um, I'm just going to prepare. I'm just going to add something in here, uh, something I prepared which is more or less a template, which just has a small title, repeats this LI, and would kind
kind of provide a link to it and let's see if this works. Okay, questions we want answered. Why does this work? Of course, the link doesn't bring us anywhere yet, so don't worry about that. Why does this work? We can edit it. We can add another question. For example, can we mix tokens and razor? And the answer, of course, is yes, we can, because we're going to create the details. Uh, of course, the author of this, let's say it's somebody else, for example, me, myself, and I, yours truly. And of course, the list already works. How are we doing at the time? Okay, almost half the time already used up. So let's go ahead and say um, this. Oh, I just noticed I put this on the wrong page. I already put it on the answer page. So let me just quickly, quickly move this, uh, my little mistake here, into the... Keep on forgetting where you do this. Uh, exactly. It should not be on the answer page, but on the list page so it's gone and on the answer page we're going to need a answer view um, let's for example say again we want this now currently there's just the list view and that's not the one we want so we're going to go and configure a <coughs> template called the answer we're going to say this is a razor template by the way and um, we're going to create this this is not a list but of course it shows the same kind of data. We're going to update this. And what we're going to do now is we will now of course say we want to see an answer in here. And just to make things a tad more comfortable, we're just going to quickly configure a default record for the answer. If you don't know why we do this, don't worry too much. It just causes the template to not require data. It automatically shows the template. So now it'll show something, of course, not exactly what we need. And we're going to add in this template as well. And of course, just to make things kind of work out, I already prepared something because it'll take too long. Just so you know what we did, we're creating a data source, which will get the ID from the URL and it'll get the data. If it finds anything, it'll try to show the answer. And if there's an image included, it will also show the image. So let's update that. And right now we should see nothing until we try one of the IDs. So 2501, you might see that in the URL, ID 2501. And ta-da, we now see the data. There's a little bug here with the um, uh, paragraph. Of course, that shouldn't be visible like that. Um, we'll look at that in a second. Um, Let's just quickly fix this. There's probably an HTML raw missing here. Answer, answer. And you see the image is included. Um, let's go back to this uh, URL. Image is included. Everything works. So all we need to do now is implement a link to this page, right? Perfect. Let's do that. Let's go back to the list and let's modify the template again. And actually, we've done some pretty neat stuff here, which I'm going to show you right now. We are going to implement a template. I'm just doing a lot of stuff here at the same time. We have a link going to a page. We don't know which page yet. And so if we save this right now, we're going to see um, it might work. But we would like to set the target page dynamically. This may be going a bit quickly, but trust me, I can go in and say my app has a setting called the details page. And this is a hyperlink and we would like to make a central configuration where the details will be found. Okay, so let's just quickly tell them that this hyperlink is a page picker. And we can now in our management system We'll now go into the app management and add the information. We're going to edit this. The details page is here on the answer. And now we can use this information in the token template to automatically link to the correct page. So what happens? We'll look at this page here and look at the template. We've said app settings details page, question mark, ID content, entity ID. So we're actually creating a link to a page which was configured in the app settings. That's really cool. This is really great to configure stuff. And what we also did is we're going to create a light box for those people 
um, that click. So the link is was one that works for Google. But when we click on it, we get a light box to the same page and it already works. Isn't that great? So this is awesome in my personal opinion. And now we're going to, so we made it configurable and now we're also going to add some resources multilingual because we'd like to make this multilingual and we're going to um, just make a short text called list intro. We'll just say this is a nice piece of text and it has a different hello, how uh, these are the questions we want answered in English. And um, we'll quickly go back into the um, management settings here and we will say the list intro in the English language should be the questions, uh, the questions we love. We're going to save that. My time is running out, but I'm doing pretty well. 40 seconds left. The questions we love, right? Um, I can also change this that in German it would say, say um, diese Fragen sind toll. I'm going to save this. And now we have an app with multilingual intro resources. We have settings that say where the questions are, the questions we love. I can change the URL to DEDE. -D -E. So it has multilingual, these are in toll, multilingual resources, settings, etc. And now all we need to do is package the app and export it so somebody else can use it too, which is super easy as well. We're going to hit export. And within about 20 seconds, we should have a zip containing the images, the entities, the templates, the configuration and everything. And the time just ran out. So <laughs> we did this in a 10 minute thing. It just saved it. It worked. 10 minutes. Way to go. I'm really proud of this. And just so you see that this really, really works, I'm going to install the same app. I just saved it here into, um, let's just see what it's called. Show all downloads. Okay. Child with two pages. I'm going to install it onto a blank DNN installation that I have prepared for you. Here's another DNN. And now we'll do it a little bit slower. I created an FAQ page. Now let's add a Too Sexy Content app and we're going to install the thing we just did on this new system and it's just going to work. You're going to love this. So apps management. You see there's some apps installed, but not the one we just made. And now we're going to import an app. We're going to choose the file. It's this one from the time it's the file we just created. We're going to open this and upload it. And you see, it's very simple. There's no magic to it. And now this app will also be installed on this system. Ta-da, it's in here. So I should now be able to choose the app. Simple parent child with two pages. I will start with the list, of course. I could disable the other one just for the heck of it. I'm going to add a question like, I hope this really works. I really do. I mean, it is a demo and this stuff is all brand new. Um, we're not going to select an image right now for this one. So the link works. All that seems to work. Of course, the details page doesn't exist yet. Remember, we refer to a page on the other system. So you'll also notice the URL in the corner. You may not see that it's wrong. Now we're going to create a new details page. We're not going to call it answer anymore, but uh, Antwort because we're German, right? We're going to call this Antwort and we're going to say everybody can see it. We're going to say it's under the FAQ. We're not going to show it in the menu. Of course, <coughs> we'll add this app here as well. Say it's the thing and it's the answer item. And now we will go back to the FAQ. Now, of course, the page still points to the wrong page. We will now go into the module settings for this app. And you see it's pointing to the old page, which was in the previous system. We're now going to say it should go and look at the Antwort. And if everything works, we should now have a functioning light box in here like that. And Google will have a real link, which will, um, of course, browse to it directly. So I just created an app, which I mean, this is I think this is unbelievable. I've never seen any other system allow you to do that. We've created everything. We've configured it. It's multilingual. It has two views. They're linked. It has a light box. It's, 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 it has everything. 
and I created it for redistribution in 10 minutes. I really love it. I hope you do too. Thank you for watching. This was Daniel Wettler, Two Sick Internet Solutions, how to create apps with two sexy content for DNN. Thank you again for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.